Hello students, Gate I Special Online Tuition welcomes you and from today onwards we are going to discuss a very important series for IES Peri 2020 where we are going to discuss about important topics from subject and how to revise in less time because time is also less and you need to just discuss nearly 25 plus subjects 10 from your GS part and basically sir 15 plus from your technical part so how to revise revision is also important so in this video we are going to discuss our past video for basics of project management so in this video we are going to discuss about which topics you need to just prepare for IES period 2020 how important like some important topics are there I will just also suggest those topics for especially for this exam and how to revise in less time so everything in this video we are going to discuss so before starting of this video first of all I need to suggest like how important this subject for your exam and very easy subject for your uh, scoring mark okay so you don't require extra efforts only our videos are going to be sufficient for other subjects or like for some subjects I can suggest like some reference book also but for this subject from last two years directly all questions from our direct notes and videos so you don't require any extra material only thing is that just go to our videos or basic notes that is going to be sufficient so first of all I need to suggest in 2017 number of questions from basics of project management 10 in 2018 number of questions 12 in 2019 number of questions 11 so you can just see guys out of 200 marks in 2017 20 marks okay in 24 and in last year uh, 22 marks okay so you can just see here how important this subject for your exam because we have seen sir in toppers marks 90 marks topper marks it already we have seen 90 plus marks or 96 or 100 maximum they just getting and only 22 or 20 marks you are getting from basics of project management only thing is that guys basics of project management understanding is only you have to study basic four pages of project life cycle how you are dealing with basic project and finally you need to just discuss about contract and tender your subject is over your definitions are going to be very easy all questions you can just solve properly so now we are going to discuss about a very important topics from this basics of project management for IES 2020 okay so first of all I need to suggest first topic and your project management is over life cycle okay so life cycle is nothing sir every project from the small project to your big project for example you are considering like a small project or also you are making some uh, national project or like a country national wide projects like macro projects everything consists four life cycles and these life cycles start from your initiation phase then second sir your planning phase third sir your executing or uh, executing and control phase and sir fourth phase final phase sir your closing phase whenever we are looking for any project these projects are consist these four life cycle initiation planning execution and control and finally closing and basically sir short form for this sir ipecc okay initiation planning execution and control and finally closing every phase of uh, any project management just consists this four life cycle we need to discuss only thing is that what we are going to do in initiation phase what we are doing in planning phase what we need to just do in execution and control phase and finally we are going for closing phase and one topic your contract and tender your basics of project management over okay so this is known as your basics of project management important topic every year they can just ask questions from life cycle they can just ask uh, just make a proper sequence of this phases they can just ask any type of question now sir next important topics graph for this life cycle okay so first of all sir we have discussed sir, four life cycles and we have a graph for this life cycle okay so this is like a basically your intensity of work and next sir your time so time versus this intensity of work we are going to discuss and this graph is like this sir okay so this is your first phase this is your second phase this is your third phase and sir finally this is your fourth phase so in initiation phase what happens sir this is our initiation phase and sir here only like very less work we need to do means sir initiation phase only we are going for planning or uh, only we are going for designing work or uh, starting or feasibility analysis or like basically uh, appraisals only thing is that in in first phase that is like important 
बट सर सेकेंड फेज वी आर गोइंग फॉर प्लानिंग डिफरेंट सम एक्स्ट्रा वर्क वी नीड टू डू एंड सर थर्ड सर एग्जीक्यूशन एंड कंट्रोल मीन्स योर ओल्ड टोटल वर्क आर गोइंग टू बी हेयर इन एग्जीक्यूशन वी आर फिजिकली इंप्लीमेंटेड फॉर एग्जाम्पल वी वॉन्ट टू कंस्ट्रक्ट वन ब्रिज सो वॉट यू डू यू स्टार्टिंग फ्रॉम योर इनिशियशन फेज और बेसिक अप्रिजल्स देन यू आर गोइंग फॉर प्लानिंग एंड फाइनली यू आर कंस्ट्रक्टिंग इन थर्ड फेज दैट्स वाई हाइएस्ट कॉस्ट इन थर्ड फेज दैट्स वाई हाइएस्ट मनी वी स्पेंड एवरीथिंग इन दिस थर्ड फेज ऑल्सो नंबर ऑफ वर्कर्स हेयर मोर एवरीथिंग मोर इंटेंसिटी वर्क इज ऑल्सो मोर सो दे कैन जस्ट आस्क ए क्वेश्चन एनी टाइप ऑफ क्वेश्चन दे कैन जस्ट आस्क फ्रॉम दिस ग्राफ सो बेसिकली सर टू थिंग्स ओवर बेसिक ऑफ प्रोजेक्ट के लाइफ साइकिल सर इनिशियशन प्लानिंग एग्जीक्यूशन एंड योर क्लोजिंग एंड दिस ग्राफ नाउ सर नेक्स्ट टॉपिक वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अ वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक दैट इज नॉन एज सम इंपॉर्टेंट डेफिनेशन फ्रॉम प्रोजेक्ट नाउ थर्ड इंपॉर्टेंट थिंग इज सर बेसिक डेफिनेशन फ्रॉम दिस योर प्रोजेक्ट मैनेजमेंट ओके सो thing is that we have to discuss like stake holder what do you mean by stake holder what do you mean by this project or project management what do you mean by project charter some definitions are there in notes just we have given only thing is that you should revise and also like there are definitions of project management program management and portfolio management and only one difference is there sir in portfolio like different projects or different types of projects we are running in program management sir only one thing is that same type of same category projects we are running and project management sir basically temporary and over okay so these are like some important definition you need to just revise and you need to put in your mind because uh, there may be ask uh, like some theoretical questions from basics of project management generally guys i need to suggest your uh, four five questions generally four five questions directly from basics of project management means they can just ask definition of project management they can just ask a question from project manager what are like uh, important works from this uh, project management or uh, like uh, organization so everything we are going to cover uh, in past manner here now fourth important topic from basics of project management it's organization organization consists of like board of director and they just hire a basic project manager for every project and the project manager is going to be highest authority for particular project for example one company is there they are running three projects okay three project so here pm1 project manager 1 here pm2 here pm3 okay so this is like consist organization and this organization consist different projects every project have different project manager so you need to just discuss sir how hierarchy of this organization in notes we just given hierarchy like board of director your contractor your supplier your this uh, stakeholders also included also customers so one hierarchy is there one table is there just remember only four five points that is going to be sufficient now sir next thing is just very very important i need to suggest in project management we have different organization types of different organization so first of all sir stakeholder is nothing sir uh, someone just who invest money in your project basically sir two type of stakeholder one is just external like coming from outside of this project management body second sir internal internal is nothing sir it may be your project manager your boss okay so anyone who just related to project uh, so that's why that is known as internal stakeholder fifth important topic from basics of project management organizations how we can just divide this basics of project management in different organization so first of all very important your functional okay some project teams or like organization just divided into functional some just just divided into your project type or product okay product wise or third is just known as your matrix organization means sir it is like a combination of your functional plus product means sir both managers are there here project manager plus functional manager both available are here now sir in functional manager means sir here only our uh, this uh, powers divided into your functional manager here sir project manager is going to be highest power for example in functional is nothing sir we have accounting department all accounting function just done by one single functional manager for example sir here hr okay so all hr work done by one functional manager but sir in product manager or project manager different thing is there everything responsibility to given to this single person that's why this is like a main lead hero of this product for example we are making some one product okay or like one project so this total responsibility given to project manager so only one difference is there sir in functional different functionals are there and in product total responsibility given to project manager now sir finally one question from this topic they can just ask uh, like your what do you mean by this your matrix organization 
मैट्रिक मीन सर इट इज लाइक अ कॉम्बिनेशन ऑफ अ प्रोडक्ट प्लस योर फंक्शनल मैनेजर प्रोडक्ट प्लस योर फंक्शनल मैनेजर बोथ मैनेजर अवेलेबल देर इन मैट्रिक्स ऑर्गेनाइजेशन बट सर विच मैनेजर हैव हाइएस्ट पावर सर इन वीक मैट्रिक्स इन वीक मैट्रिक्स योर फंक्शनल मैनेजर हैव हाइएस्ट पावर ओनली प्रोजेक्ट मैनेजर प्रोवाइड लाइक गाइडेंस रिलेटेड टू प्रोजेक्ट इन स्ट्रॉन्ग मैट्रिक्स योर प्रोजेक्ट मैनेजर हैव हाइएस्ट पावर एफ एम मैनेजर मीन सर फंक्शनल मैनेजर लोवेस्ट पावर इन इन मीडियम सर दे हैव बोथ मॉडरेट सो इन एग्जाम दे कैन जस्ट आस्क फंक्शनल मैनेजर हैव हाइएस्ट पावर इन विच ऑर्गेनाइजेशन यू कैन जस्ट से सर वीक मैट्रिक्स हाइएस्ट पावर गिवन टू फंक्शनल मैनेजर इन विच ऑर्गेनाइजेशन प्रोजेक्ट मैनेजर हैव स्ट्रॉन्ग पावर दैट इज लाइक वन टाइप ऑफ नॉन इज योर स्ट्रॉन्ग मैट्रिक्स सो दीज आर लाइक सम इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक्स यू कैन जस्ट डिस्कस और यू कैन जस्ट अंडरस्टैंड फ्रॉम आवर नॉट्स ऑल्सो ओनली थिंग इज दैट आई एम जस्ट गिविंग हेयर ओनली फॉर योर रीजन पर्पज यू कैन जस्ट रिवाइज वेरी फास्ट आफ्टर वॉचिंग दिस वीडियो यू कैन एबल टू क्रिएट दिस बेसिक्स ऑफ प्रोजेक्ट मैनेजमेंट इन फास्ट मैनर विथ आवर नॉट्स नाउ सर नेक्स्ट टॉपिक वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस हेयर पावर्स ऑफ योर प्रोजेक्ट मैनेजर ओके सो पावर्स ऑफ प्रोजेक्ट मैनेजर सर बेसिकली सर different powers are there but for your exam purpose we are going to discuss your uh, five powers okay so first is just known as your formal power formal power is also known as legitimate power and this formal power just given to you your power given by your post okay for example you just posted as is officer that is like a company will provide formal power now sir next power reward power okay if someone is just doing good work you can just reward that your employees one is just also known as your penalty power okay you can just also penalize for example you are giving your work to contractor and they are not doing great work so you can just also put a penalty fourth power just known as your expert power and finally expert means sir for example you have four year technical experience that is known as expert power fifth power just known as referent power referent power for example in your company you are doing something work and you are following some person or some book or some law that is known as referent power means sir we are considering something as a reference so these powers are there only one important topic i need to just consider from here sir every power is okay you can just but i want to ask which power is very good power just tell me sir expert power and reward power is going to be very very good power means sir this you will get by your own uh, hard work now sir bad power penalty power is a known as bad power means sir this is like a bad only one thing again very very important in the this is like a deeper topic of basics of project management all four powers given by company but sir this expert power you you can earn this company will not provide expertise you will get by your hard work so this is like important topic so two three important topics from basics uh, of this uh, power management in in uh, power management sir in the uh, basics of project management we have project manager they provided with uh, like different powers formal power reward power penalty power expert power referent power and sir very important thing is just sir expert power given by uh, not given by company all four powers given by company and good powers are reward power and expert power bad power sir penalty power only four three four points are uh, you need to just discuss and your this uh, power topic is going to be over you don't require to read like uh, uselessly everything and you are reading theory only thing is just just read point to point in our notes also just i given point to point so now this like your old basics over from basics of project management means the four five questions you can just easily cover from this topics okay so that is going to be sufficient for your basics of project management next sir we are moving to our phases means sir we have discussed life cycle initiation your uh, basically sir your planning then we are going for execution and uh, we are going for closing so what we are doing in our initiation phase now sir our next phase is just going to start now pass sir in initiation phase what we are doing okay so in initiation first of all we are doing two things okay first is just known as feasibility analysis and in second sir we are doing appraisals appraisals means sir we are uh, for example uh, we are doing in initiation phase we are doing like uh, all locations uh, availability also we are doing financial feasibility economic feasibility everything we just do uh, for example if one project is 100 crore so from where we get this 100 crore means sir feasibility is also need to do 
and then finally just uh, this report just created and uh, we are going for appraisal from our team so this work we are going to discuss in initiation phase and in initiation phase very important topic that is known as your uh, this uh, financial analysis in financial analysis two things are there sir discounted cash flow and uh, non discounted cash flow everything we have covered in our boost videos some numericals are there two three types of numericals in this uh, topic and everything we just cover in our videos in boost videos this year just i added uh, extra two three numericals uh, from this discounted cash flow or non discounted cash flow you know guys basically rate of interest your this uh, return of your investment payback period different things are there like npv iir okay so these three four types of numericals everything just we have covered in our videos so you can just uh, remember those uh, videos properly now sir this our initiation phase is just over and finally sir after appraisal we just create this dpr dpr is nothing sir detail projects your report after that why sir we create dpr because 100 crore project we cannot like uh, uh, invest this total money from our uh, this uh, our company what we will do we will just go for loans we will go for some papers everything just like debenture papers it issues everything just we have covered there and last year two questions directly from our notes what do you mean by this debenture papers okay so because also we have uh, some different topic that is known as like your uh, contingency fund 5% money we need to just put extra because uh, you just uh, expected this project is going to be spent 100 crore but sir what happened due to inflation this is spent at 105 crore okay so that's why 5% extra contingency project uh, fund we just create for every project okay so this is like a basically for your initiation phase so in initiation phase only thing is that you need to just put your utmost care for economic analysis or basically your financial analysis where two three types of numericals everything just we have covered here so i need not to just explain again here numericals all numericals available there and i need to suggest guys uh, those three four types of numericals uh, i just provided there only thing they can just change data concepts are fixed concepts are fixed they are not going to change that's why my videos are up to point to point and i don't uh, provide like a uh, uselessly theory and uh, providing notes and notes lots of notes available in market so why you just again need notes notes only thing is that you take point and you can just read notes then only possibly you will get very good marks if your fundamentals are good then definitely you will get uh, good marks now we are going to discuss about our second topic and second sir second phase sir your planning phase and sir in planning phase what we will do just planning means sir we are going to plan our proper meetings so this first meeting is just known as kick off meeting very important for your exam they can just ask first meeting after like your uh, this uh, initiation phase that is known as kick off meeting so just after kick off meeting we just plan how we are going to complete this project for example we want to construct one mobile phone okay one new technology we want to develop so sir from starting we have everything like uh, pre feasibility analysis feasibility analysis and we have our dpr now sir we need to just uh, plan how we are going to complete this project okay so that's why first work here we are going for wbs work breakdown structure okay means properly we are going to divide our work in proper phases for example we want to complete this 100% works now we are divided into 10 plus 10 plus 10 means that this 10% in one phase in second phase in third phase or everything that is like a different types of uh, uh, strategies we need to just uh, follow and that is like how we are going to convert this uh, strategies sir basically from your network diagram your cpm your pert again two very very important topic we are going to discuss and already two numericals just i given in our videos those two numericals are going to be standard numerical after watching those videos you can solve any type of cpm and pert problem sir pert means sir an optimistic like uh, there is like uh, we cannot predict proper time cpm means sir definitely with proper time so these are just we do in our planning phase now next uh, phase is very important where uh, we are going to discuss important means sir important this CPM PRT numericals is important. That's why I just given. Again, I don't want to revise. Thing is that just uh, listen this video properly. You will get idea what you need to just study in basics of project management. Now, sir, third, we are going for our monitoring and controlling phase. 
ओके सो दिस मॉनिटरिंग कंट्रोलिंग और एग्जीक्यूशन एग्जीक्यूशन इज बेसिकली वी आर एग्जीक्यूटिंग अवर प्रोजेक्ट वेयर वी आर पुटिंग दिस मॉनिटरिंग एंड कंट्रोलिंग मॉनिटरिंग मीन्स सर वी आर मॉनिटरिंग अवर प्रोजेक्ट फॉर एग्जाम्पल वन प्रोजेक्ट वी जस्ट गिवन हंड्रेड करोर बट वी आर स्पेंडिंग मैक्सिमम मनी मीन्स सर अवर मनी इज लाइक अ कोस्ट अवर रन कोस्ट अवर रन मीन्स सर वी आर स्पेंडिंग मोर मनी दैट्स वाई We just do EVA, okay, earned value analysis. Means, sir, we just find out like different formulas are there. Your cost variance, your cost performance index, your schedule variance, your schedule performance index. Okay, in basics of project management, three, four numericals are there. One they can just ask from this cost variance, CPI, SV, SPI. Direct formula, and you need to just only direct. You can just get answer. One question from your this planning phase. that is from your cpm and pert one numerical from your basically financial analysis these three four numericals are going to be very important and one numerical from your creasing and creasing numerical this year just i added uh, in our boost course so every numerical just i provided thing is that they can just change only data from last two years only thing is that they are doing changing data and this year i expecting question from this topic this uh, earned value analysis means that they can just ask any question from this spi cpi or cv or sv okay so these all numericals are important i just given very small small numericals are there only fundamental just try to remember now sir this uh, monitoring phase is okay we are monitoring everything and uh, now controlling means sir we are controlling for example we are putting this extra cost now sir uh, in controlling what we are doing we are reducing the cost for example our project aid or we want to increase the time or we want to decrease the time for example our project ending in 100 days now sir we want to reduce to 90 days we should complete this project in 90 days we are going for creasing and sir creasing is important one numerical just i provided for crossing creasing means sir 100 days project we want to reduce in 90 days but sir 90 days should be with lowest cost for example two activities are there a activity b activity if we are reducing this activity it uh, taking like 1 uh, uh, lakh rupees if we are reducing this activity it taking 90000 only so which activity you are uh, crease sir b activity so creasing means sir we are going to reduce time but with optimum cost okay so these are like some important definitions also and one numericals available there with that numerical you can just uh, do any type of creasing uh, numericals so this is like from your basic your controlling and monitoring phase now finally your closure phase in closing phase what happens sir we are just see our charter charter is nothing sir basic like your fundamental work for your basics of project management or your past documents also we just see our dpr detail project report like uh, for example how much work we need to just complete so in closing phase what you need to do you just see like what work just written here we have completed 100% or not okay if you completed 100% your internal team your internal team will audit this so basically sir two types of auditor one is just internal another from external internal sir from your only from your team external from your for example government uh, you are just taking one government project government officers will come and they will audit and then only your bill will pass okay so this is known as your audit and sir this external audit also post audits also there for example sir before pass your bill for example this 100 crore projects and they want to pass your bill 90 crore today they just uh, complete and they remaining 10 crore rupees they pass after one year because uh, what contractor will do okay for one year your things are good but you are using very less uh, quality material after one year your project is zero that's why sometimes post audits also done post audit means sir after one year after two year they have proper policy so everything just written in our charter or dpr so you don't require to think about those things only thing is that i just need to suggest in closing phase only one thing is there why just this audits are there audits means sir to pass your bills and different kinds of audit internal audit external audit internal audit means sir your internal team will audit before external audit and external audit means sir for example you are doing some work from different company external auditor will come they will check your product yes you done properly now they pass bill and sometimes what happens sir they will not pass 100% bill they will pass 100% bill after one year two year three year that is known as post audit 
post like uh, after one year or two year that is known as post audit okay so this is like uh, for your quality work so this topic is over now basics of project management four phases over your basics of project management over and last topic here sir your contract and tender okay so first of all sir here last topic this is known as your extra topic so basically contract and your tender so in tender everything is okay basically how to write your tender notice because e procurement notice available today on websites you need to just after is officer you need to also publish this tender notice from your office okay so this tender notice how to publish this tender notice how to read this uh, tender notice everything uh, we just uh, given in our video so you can just check there one uh, one type of notice is there like what emd or like uh, what letter of intent everything just like some definitions are there in contracts sir basic only thing is that basically two types of contract one is just known as your trunky contract one is just known as your non trunky contract trunky means sir like your total work your total work given to one person for example your this uh, complete work 100% work just given to one contractor non trunky project means sir your work given to a small small package for example 10% work given to a vendor your 70% work given to b vendor your 20% work given to c vendor means sir partitions of work given to different tenders or contractor that is known as your basic contract so so contract is only thing is that sir only definition and uh, what different types of contractor and in tender only thing is that you need to just understand how to read this tender notice what like uh, different uh, terms are there everything just we have covered in our videos so these are topics these topics are going to be sufficient for your exam you don't require anything so student this contract and tender over here and this is like completion of your basics of project management so i need to suggest my all student you need to just discuss everything properly now again i just want to revise everything properly in very fast manner in this uh, paper this uh, basics of project management is going to be very important topic here we have four phases every four phase is important one graph is there after that we need to just discuss this uh, organization of this basics of project management what do you mean by different organization functions are there different uh, like uh, projectize uh, departments are there or also like matrix organization everything just we have discussed after that we have discussed different powers of project manager and uh, different types of uh, work for this basic of project management so everything like basic theory just we have discussed after that we are going to discuss sir what types of uh, this initiation phase uh, planning uh, your uh, monitoring and control and finally sir your closing phase basically sir four types of five types of numerical that is known as your uh, this um, planning from uh, planning phase from initiation phase and finally from your monitoring and control phase one numerical and uh, also one numerical from risk analysis risk analysis means sir one break even analysis and break even analysis we have discussed in our boost course okay so you can check there one two numericals are available there for from this break even analysis so they can just ask any type of numerical and easily you can just attempt this uh, paper so this basics of project management is going to be very important just try to revise very fast so these are like some very important topics from basics of project management so this is like a complete our video now next video we are going to discuss about standards and quality practices in production very soon just i publish on our youtube channel so thank you guys for watching this video thank you